Hey everybody, um, it's my next video on the Pug. Um, main thing you'll notice is the grip. I've seen a lot of videos on this weapon, but none with the Mini Master grip. Mini Master is basically the Black Widow grip without the little insignia there on the handle. Basically, same thing, you just save yourself $2. Um, I really like this grip. Um, this turned a pretty junk gun into a pretty good weapon. Um, as you can tell, it's loaded. It's dangerous, so if you're a big safety Nazi, I don't care. Um, it, the hammer is between the rounds, but that's how I'm going to do the video. It's dirty because I just shot it a bunch, and I'll go over the different types of ammo and um, how this thing performed uh, in a minute. But I just wanted to give you a good look of what it looks like. And here I can compare it to the old grip and the my old 642 grip. So basically the Mini Master grip is about the same thing as a, a 38 Special a Smith & Wesson. This is my stock grip uh, for this gun. I have Crimson Trace Laser. Uh, this grip sucks. It's horrible. Because it's basically round, so you're trying to hold something round and you can only put one finger on it. So every time you shoot, it goes to the left, right? Because how are you going to stabilize it with one finger? You need two fingers and this one's more flat. So you can stabilize it from torquing, right? I mean, I'm not an expert shot, but I didn't just start yesterday either. I've been shooting since a kid. Um, so to go back to my old targets, basically this was the one I shot with the stock grip. Notice everything to the left. Not really tight groups. <coughs> this is what I shot today. Here I was aiming for the 7 uh, with the good ammo. Uh, the only shot outside really that sucked was my very first shot. If you ignore that, everything else is pretty much where it should be. Here I was kind of shooting for the X. And here I was shooting for the face. Uh, this side had been warmed up and was using the good ammo. So, pretty good groups. Um, this is where I shot from even further back. Um, with the crappy ammo, as you can see, it tumbled and made these big, huge tears. So I'll talk a little more about the cheap stuff and the difference between the, the other ones. Here I just kind of unloaded mostly the rest of my cheap stuff and a few of the better rounds from farther back. So that's what I got there. <coughs> Everything was on the paper, though. So it was actually um, well worth the money. I getting to the ammo, last time I only shot the CCIs. Um, this time I bought some Remington and the cheapo Dynapoint uh, Winchesters. Uh, first thing is the price. This was the cheapest, seven dollars uh, ninety-seven cents. You can see that. Um, CCI's was ten dollars and forty-seven, and this came in at the whopping sixteen dollars and ninety-seven cents. Uh, so this is the cheapest, and you know that's how it goes. Uh, as far as weight goes. The cheap stuff was the heaviest. This was 45 grain. Um, these are 40, and these, I believe, are 37. Nope, 33 grain. So this is the smallest. Um, this is full metal jacket. Um, actually, it's just a bunk, bunch of lead that looks like it was made out of a Play-Doh extruder. Real lumpy. Not very pretty ammo. CCI is a nice... It looks like brass coated, I think, but it's not a hollow point. It's just kind of flat at the tip. These have a soft point. I don't know if that's plastic or not, but it's like a green tip. Um, these shot really well. Um, and I've seen other people shoot wood, and these didn't perform that well, the CCI. So if I had to carry one, I think I would carry these Remingtons just because they are supposed to expand better and um, it's a little lighter but it goes a little faster as well so those are pretty neat um, the issue with the cheapos is I did have one um, round not fire when the hammer struck it left a dent but it didn't go off um, I shot probably a hundred of these so far and I haven't had one fail this I had one, one out of fifty fail so that's just not acceptable when you're going to carry to, to shoot somebody. But if you're plinking, you know, get the cheap stuff. It's not too bad, but I think for carry, I'm going to start carrying those. Um, the holsters I got. I also got a new holster in the mail. This is the ankle holster. And this I had before was the inside the pant holster. Let me put the camera down for a second. 
So it fits pretty deep in here. <coughs> Mini Master handle is bigger, but it's still thin. Uh, it fits really good on your waist. This is a perfect cut in the grass gun, which is what I'm going to do as soon as I'm done with this video. Um, this is the coarse one that comes with the coarse and a uh, smooth one. I just got the coarse so my pants wouldn't blow up and it exposed. When I'm on my motorcycle, my uh, leather ankle holster does get exposed, so I thought this might add a little more friction. I like it because it does cover the hammer, but the with this ham this holster, there's nothing to keep it in but the friction of the holster. So if you're doing cartwheels, it might fall out. Uh, this goes this way. Well, let me see if I can put it on my my ankle for you. That's basically what it looks like. So for a backup gun, it's a good place to put it. Um, otherwise, I would keep it inside the pants with this guy. So that's my review. Best money you could ever spend on this little gun is get this get this uh, grip. Uh, bird's head's pretty good too. I've heard you can get it in wood, or you can get it with a stupid thing there if you want to waste two more dollars. But um, turned it from a jump gun into pretty decent. Okay.